Hey, what's going on, y'all? Real quick, I uh, just want to apologize for the constant autofocus in the upcoming video. So part of why I started this channel, it, it's certainly not to establish myself as a firearms instructor, because I'm certainly not that. The reason why I started the channel was really to document uh, my progression as I develop as a shooter. Uh, shooting's a hobby for me. It's certainly, I don't work in the firearms industry and it's certainly not something that like I make my living off of. Uh, for me, it's more about showing the process of learning versus teaching other people um, how to shoot. Uh, there are far better folks out there who shoot more than I do, shoot much better than I do, and have way more experience than I do. Uh, so I'm bringing in my buddy from Apostles Firearms Academy. They're a fantastic resource here in Central Texas. Uh, check them out. Um, Austin Black and uh, Josh Greeno are the co-owners of the company. Austin is a uh, world champion competitive shooter, and Josh is a former a former infantryman. Um, highly recommend them. Um, this isn't a paid spot for them or anything like that. I've just had a lot of interaction with them over the last several years here in Central Texas. And um, just kind of want to show you some of the stuff that I'm working on as, as I develop as a shooter. This next video is really on mobility and shooting while uh, moving. And that a lot of folks really consider shooting on the move as being more of like this dark art uh, advanced tactic. But when really like what's considered advanced is really just the fundamentals mastered. And that, that's kind of what I'm trying to show you here and show some level of self-awareness to y'all that I don't think I'm some like fucking um, Jackie Chan with an AR-15 because I'm not. Uh, I just want to show you guys that yeah, I, I, I have good days and I have bad days and there are things I'm good at and there are things I'm working on and shooting on the move is one of those things that I'm working on. So, hope you enjoy. Again, sorry for the autofocus. I'll, uh, I'll get better. Hey, see what, see what, see, ah, fuck, I fucked up that time. Alright, alright. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We're back at the trap house. So lately I've been noticing something that I suck at and that's moving and shooting at the same time. So I called in the experts here. I'm here with Josh, co-owner of Apostles Firearms Academy. I've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions with them, did my LTC with them. Uh, if you're in the Central Texas area, I uh, highly recommend them. Check them out. I'll put the uh, link to their website up above. And uh, yeah, Josh, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Yeah, thanks man. I'm Josh with Apostles Firearms Academy. Uh, we're located out in Austin. We've been out here for about two years. Um, what made us really get into the uh, shooting instruction is that uh, just working in the industry and local gun ranges in the area, we found that there was a high, high demand for um, firearm instruction. So uh, we eventually became LTC instructors um, and then uh, we just started getting more volume and volume out here at, in South Austin. Um, my little bit about myself, um, my background is uh, like organized shooting, I guess I, guess I would call it, uh, all started back in uh, when I was in the military uh, from 2012 to 2016. Um, I was in the infantry, spent about a year overseas, and then got out and came out to Austin and got fell into the shooting community and uh, just been doing it ever since. Josh, so what, what are some of like the challenges that shooters, particularly new shooters, have when they start trying to incorporate motion into their shooting? Well, you're walking. So you're no longer shooting from a supported position. So what's happening is when you're walking is your sight picture is deviating. It's, it's fluctuating with every single step that you take. So some, some, th some ways to make that easier is you know, using your legs and utilizing them as like shock absorbers. To not overcomplicate things and just lay it out as simply as possible. Um, <clears throat> you're going to want to shorten up your steps. So, and also focusing more on heel toe. So focusing on letting your heel touch first and then roll into your toe. So short steps and then also you want to drop your hips just slightly. It's nothing exaggerated. It's just the slight movement of dropping your hips slightly down low. And then short steps, you're going to try to keep your body level as possible. So drop, dropping the hips is a little bit more intuitive to me. So watch, watch what I'm doing, Josh, and tell me if I'm exaggerating it. Going through, learning any type of new motion, you're gonna over-exaggerate everything like that. So doing this, I'm gonna drop my hips. Is that more fluid? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, you know, looking through your lens, focusing on the dot and seeing how much it's actually moving, see how much of a difference it makes. 
Oh, all right. So let's let's try this again. All right, so we've we've done a couple run-throughs, um, walking and shooting. I mean, I've been able to diagnose a little bit of what's happening, but I want to hear from Josh around what he thinks um, I'm doing incorrectly and how I can mitigate that and what I can do to practice. So when he first started out, he was taking long steps and long flat-footed steps rather than doing focusing on having his feet land on his heel and roll to the toe. Um, that's going to help you immensely in. Um, you know, absorbing the shock from your steps. Um, also, uh, you know, bending the knees a little bit more and shorter steps. So long steps, it's hard to mitigate the bounce. story short, shooting on the move is fucking hard. Um, I still suck at it, but I do feel like I have a much firmer grasp on the body mechanics that go into shooting while on the move. Um, so this is kind of my learning process, getting a grasp of what incremental steps need to be done. And then it's just repetition from there. It's pretty, it's not rocket science, but it does take showing up and practicing. So over the next week, I'm gonna get out to the trap house three, four times, run, 300, 400 more rounds through it, and hopefully in the next update I have from building a shooter, you'll see some improvement. All right, thanks guys, but this was helpful.